Hey guys, it's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and today I am actually going to be doing an overview of the Good and the Beautiful Math Level K. I'm going to show you how I have the uh, Level K box organized and maybe if my kindergartner is up for it, we will do a little um, lesson, have you do a lesson with us so you can see how it uh, plays out in real life. Now, please keep in mind, I am the mom of six kids, ages one to 10, so you can probably hear them in the background. I have tried to figure out a quiet time to do these videos, and my husband is really, really busy with work right now. So if I wait until I have um, a total quiet time to do it, it's probably gonna be in a few months because um, I just don't have any quiet time going on right now. So, um, please forgive all of the noise going on in the background. It's just my kids playing, and they're right here in my eyesight so I can see what's going on. But I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys Math Level K from The Good and the Beautiful. So here's Math Level K. Here is the Math Activity Box. And it also comes with two course books. Now the Math, Math K is right on grade level. It's a beginner math course. Um, you can start this with a child who has very, very little math experience, and it is perfect for that. Um, my six-year-old is almost done with part one, so we have had this curriculum for a while. Um, he loves it. It's his favorite subject. We're about to begin um, part two, but it's um, a full-color math curriculum. I purchased this halfway through his kindergarten year because... The math curriculum that I had purchased at first was just not working for us. He hated it. It was very boring. This is the exact opposite. So as you can see, here is the table of contents. They have their math education philosophy listed here. All of the things that they expect or they want you to get out of this curriculum. They want to make homeschooling less overwhelming to make a faith-based math program possible make a top quality full color math program more affordable and to make math enjoyable for children. Also, to offer a balanced and traditional approach, to emphasize a strong number sense, to follow a two with and by teaching style. I really love this teaching style and I'll talk to you more about it here in just a second. Um, to meet all learning styles, there are tons and tons of different activities included in this curriculum. And then, of course, they have their commonly asked questions. Level K at a glance, things that the children need to know. Very, very basic things that you would teach your children when they're in preschool. Course objectives, number recognition. We're mostly working on numbers 0 to 20 here. Number sense and operations, up to 20. Um, objects and count up to 20, count by tens to 100, so on and so forth. I'm not going to read the entire thing. You can look at it. Um, <clears throat> here we're going to be learning about patterns, geometry, measurement um, of time, measurement of length, measurement of money, measurement of graphing, and then there's um, the bonus material is to memorize and write one phone number. Here is all the information about the course, everything that's included with the course set, all of the items in the math activity box. Here are the standard supplies to always have on hand. Additional materials needed for level K. Part one, um, the length of the course, there's 118 lessons, four section assessments, and one final course assessment. Then there's the daily math routine. So. So when you do your lessons, you're going to begin with the daily dose, which is 5 to 10 minutes. Then you're going to start the lesson. You're going to do direct instruction with the child. The child is going to then work on a student worksheet. And then there's always a bonus um, independent activity included if you would like to use those um, to sort of give your child something to do while you work with another child. All of the course prep that you need to do individualized instruction, how to fit in teaching multiple children, the section and course assessments, and then the, uh, the course begins. So each uh, lesson begins with a daily dose, and in this daily dose we do our calendar, 
This course includes um, MP3s for Days of the Week and Month of the Year songs. So you do sing Days of the Week, Months of the Year. You teach your child left and right within this course. You're writing the date, showing them how to write the date, and using a place value chart. And often there's another activity that usually includes um, using some of the cards that come with the curriculum. So at the beginning of the course, we did graphing, and he would draw a shape card and then mark it on this uh, graph here. We did um, another shape shuffle graph, and then we did a shape tally mark graph. And right now, he is working on curved lines and straight lines. Now I'm going to give you a look inside the Level K Math Activity Box. Now I know there's a lot of really awesome creative moms out there, a lot of them that don't even use this particular cardboard math box. They put everything in a latch mate bin, like what I have used for our spelling box. But for us, each of our children have a fabric cube that they keep all of their work in. So we just plop this in there in a fabric cube, and when it's time to do school, he gets out all of his materials from his cube, includes all of his supplies, all of his books for language arts and math. And um, yeah, I just keep everything in pink. So I'm gonna show you how I have it organized. I am, I am one of those moms who organizes just enough. I really don't have a lot of extra time to um, re-laminate things and punch holes and do all of that. So I have a bag for the cards. Um, I, I thought about separating them by section with rubber bands. I just haven't gotten around to it. But there's shape cards in here. There's number cards. And then there's um, like the little tin frame type cards. So there's some shape cards. And then... Those cards. So, um, yeah, it's not the most organized, but it works for me. It keeps them all together, and it's fine. So, for the pattern blocks, I kept all of the pattern blocks in the original bag that came with the curriculum, and then I just put the uh, all of the pattern block sheets in a large Ziploc bag. So, they're all together in one bag. I keep all of our... Um, place value pieces in an envelope. So whenever we need a new place value piece, I just pull out the envelope, grab it. Here's the Rick and Rack. The part part whole work mat. Now this is something I do think could benefit from some extra lamination and I might go ahead and do that just to make it last a little bit longer because it's not it's just like a piece of cardstock. It's not laminated or anything. Okay, here's the handwriting card. It can be hard to erase this thing. I found a baby wipe works best, so I need to go through and try to clean this up again. And then I have all of our 10 frame cards just set in here, just like this. There's only a few, so it's not too much. He has his calendar in here that he fills in. Our place value chart, I just have it set in here. So, um, this is something that we're working on right now, so I just pulled it out of the book so that way it's just set in here and we can refer back to it whenever we need to. Um, we have a ruler, I just have it set in here, an expo marker. All of our other standard supplies are in a caddy, so if he needs something like glue or his pencils or whatever, those are in a caddy. Um, and a lot of times, instead of using a dry erase board, I just use paper. I do need to get a new dry erase board because mine have been jumped up. Now, this right here is just a little clear organizer from the Dollar Tree. The one thing that I am missing from the activity box is the thing of toothpicks. And that's somewhere in my boy's room, and I've got to go find it. I've got our extra pennies in here, um, our 10-sided dice, and our regular dice. All of the manipulatives I kept in the original bags. Um, the only issue I have with these is they rip so easily. This one might not be ripped. Yeah, it's ripped over here. They rip so easily, as you can tell. So I've, I'm doing something different with math level one, and I'll show you that in my next video because I'm going to talk about level one. I already, I've already purchased it. But um, just for this purpose of math level K, I've just kept all of these in the original baggies and then set them down in here. And then we have the wooden cubes over here. And then, of course, 
I just set the Rick and Rat right down in here. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video, unless I can get my kindergartner to cooperate and sit down and we can show you a lesson from Level K. Um, it's a ton of fun. I highly, highly recommend the Good and the Beautiful Math. There is nothing like it. Um, we do use teaching textbooks for our older children, and that has worked out perfectly. But for these younger years, when they need the hands-on manipulatives and the instruction, this is top notch because it comes with everything that you need. There's no hunting down. Like in the past, when I taught my older children, I'd have to, you know, find all of the um, manipulatives myself and keep everything together. And with this, it just makes it so, so, so much easier for me because it, I can keep it all in one area, in one box, in my son's bin. And when it's time to do math, we can pull it out and get it done. So, um, guys, I also wanted to let you know that my oldest son, for his school school project, he has started his own YouTube channel. Now, he is very, very into gaming and coding and computers and stuff like that. So, he, on his YouTube channel, he uh, is playing Minecraft and doing tutorials and stuff like that. So, if you have kids that are interested in those things, I will leave a link to his channel and you can go check those out and, you know, leave him some nice comments and leave him some likes. He would absolutely love that. So I will leave the link to his channel um, down in the description box below. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy homeschooling. Bye.